Well, hi. Welcome, and I'm so excited to be the one to present this awesome information on this course that's going to be a tool that's going to have tremendous impacts on people's financial lives because it is going to, to one, explain the relationship between taxes and cash flow and then give you the ability to master taxes, the understanding of it, how to take advantage of all the deductions associated with it, thus freeing up more of your cash flow to help you along reaching your financial goals. Now, build your, building your empire, if you think back to the Asian Ming and empires and Egyptian em dynasties, then you look at the, the Roman empires and you look at the, the British, the Britain empires and the American empires, they all amassed a tremendous amount of wealth and grew and expanded all across their countries and their regions. And they were able to do so because of war and taxes. So war and taxes were their main revenue streams, how they built revenues, how they uh, built wealth, amassed wealth. Well, in modern society today, taxes still remain one of the main ways that countries and organizations generate revenue. Now, back in the day, the citizens, business owners and non-business owners, there is a sort of fear and intimidation associated with the taxation process because there were strong arms approach coming to make sure that collect taxes were collected. Well, even today, because taxes are so important and are so misunderstood, there is a fear and intimidation associated with the concept, the topic of taxes, and how it relates with the IRS. Most people uh, view the IRS as an adversary instead of someone that's on your side and in your corner, especially as an entrepreneur. And I believe with clarification, understanding of the tax process, the tax systems that uh, govern us here in the United States, the IRS is intent behind the deductions that are provided to entrepreneurs and to citizens in this two-tax system. Once there's understanding and clarity, it'll go to release and relieve some of that fear. Just think if you were invited to spend three days on in the Amazon jungle at night on the water and all the things that would go through your mind that would that create fear and intimidation, whether it was snakes and crocodiles and poisonous spiders or poisonous frogs, all those things we don't understand, the lies we tell ourselves about the things we don't understand. But once the guide sort of gave us an, a layout, how we're going to be safe, enclosed, all of those things, the fear and intimidation goes away. That's the same thing that has to happen with taxes, and that is exactly what this course is going to do. So it's going to give you a process of overcoming that fear. And what I call a three-step process, first, it involves education facilitating a better understanding of how taxes work and maximizing the two-tax system we have in America. We'll talk in detail about that. Then after education, then besides providing the knowledge, we then need some tools to help implement effective tax strategies and planning, which will then allow us to minimize our tax liability, thus maximizing our take-home pay, our cash flow. And then, of course, we get to use that cash flow to help build our empires, our legacies, reach our financial goals. Lastly is impact. See, once you have the knowledge and the tools, it's then being able to utilize those tools and effective tax strategies to legally avoid paying unnecessary taxes, maximizing cash flow, and then utilizing that additional cash flow to build our empires, to reach our financial goals. Now, who am I? I'm T.C. Chambers. I'm the CEO of Smart Finances by T.C. Everyone eventually wants to know what does T.C. stand for. Well, if you would ask that fellow on the left picture there, he would say too cool. But if you ask that more serious fellow, that CEO on the right side, he would say take charge. But in reality, all jokes aside, they're my initials, Terrell Chambers. And they just always stuck from a kid, so T.C. Chambers is what I use. Now, Let's talk a little bit more about what I do. I'm a tax and cash flow strategist. So I help people understand, one, the relationship between taxes and cash flow, and then I help them understand and develop strategies specific to their situation 
to allow them to win in this area. Now, I'm a native Philadelphian, born and raised and proud of it, even though I reside in Miami now. But I'm a diehard Eagles fan. That's for life. I love my cheesesteaks. And that's me as an undergrad at Philadelphia College of Textiles and Sciences. Now, college was tough from a financial perspective. My family was poor, couldn't afford to send me to school. First one in my family on my mother's side to ever attend college, let alone to graduate. So there were some challenges that no one could prepare me for. So private school, price went up, financial aid didn't cover it. So now I had to get resourceful. A buddy of mine mentioned going to ROCC summer camp, possibly winning a scholarship. And I said, you know what? That's my option to stay in school. That's what I did. I went, I performed, I showed out, I won a scholarship. So, of course, after graduating from Clarence University of Pennsylvania with a degree in computer science, I was also commissioned second lieutenant in the United States Army. So right out of college, I went on active duty, spent six and a half glorious, wonderful, honorable years serving our country abroad. I lived in Korea, Italy, Germany, which was fortunate, which was awesome because they paid me to live around the world. You know, I got out of the rank of captain, and my, my dad and many people was confused about why I wanted to get out, as you see me there pictured on the left side. And I said, you know, I really want to make more money than the government system will provide. And I knew what a general officer made, and it wasn't quite what I wanted to make. I wanted to make more than that. So I decided to get out, and my dad said, well, if you really want to make more money, and that's what it's about, you need to go into sales. So I followed my dad's lead. He sold computer software. I went into sales, but I went into medical sales. So if you see me on the right side there, that's my... My first job out of the military as a medical sales rep, and that's what landed me in South Florida. Now, I significantly, I, re I started making money fast. My business, excuse me, my, my income grew significantly as a medical sales rep. Got six figures, but what happened was I had less time and more money. I didn't have the time to be able to really enjoy the money. So I understood there was more for me. So I'm tracking, everything's going well entrepreneurship is where I get steered towards. I was very blessed and fortunate to meet a gentleman that had already been successful in business, took me under his wing as a mentor. You know, I joke to this day that he consistently had been a much better mentor than I've been mentoree. I didn't always listen. I listened to things I wanted to hear. When he told me what I need to do, go make money in business and how to build that business to be able to replace my job income, that's exactly what I did. And I closed a blind eye or didn't really listen to some of the other important things he said. As a result, my first tax season in 1996 as an entrepreneur and as an employee, I made over six figures, and I had to write a check for five figures to the IRS. That hurt. Not from the perspective I didn't have it. It hurt from the perspective of like, I made all this money, and then I had to write a check and just give it away. But it wasn't because the IRS were bad and vicious and malicious. No, it was because me, as an entrepreneur, I didn't do my duty of managing my money. I didn't understand or allow myself to understand the importance of taxes and its relation to my cash flow. Well, the IRS quickly made sure that I put that in the forefront of my mind. So I began learning everything I could, listening to my mentor, but I also started teaching anyone that came in business with me simultaneously every single thing I knew, and I ended up coaching people in this area. So. Besides that, I love children. I love empowering them. I love seeing their light bulb go off. So I spend as much time as I can during the school year and during the summer mentoring and educating them on financial literacy and entrepreneurship. But I also take time to learn from them. As you can see in the top left picture there, they're teaching me face painting. Obviously, I wasn't a very good student because their face painting is way better than mine. Also, as work with these young kids, I, I uh, realize I am not as young as I used to be. That bottom left picture, all I can recall is looking at that photographer saying, please hurry up and take this picture. My knees are screaming. So, yes, that's one of my passions, giving back and teaching the kids so they don't have to go through all the things that we may have had to go through, especially with technology at their favor. Well, now self-education is becoming the new norm. So as a knowledge broker and course creator, I am spending more and more time helping people identify what their superpowers are. What is it that they can deliver and bring of value? And what that has caused me to realize, in specifically with this course itself, is that more and more people are realizing that our current education system has some flaws, and it needs to be overhauled. 
So more and more people are deciding that they have to take their own initiative and go out and get specific skill sets or knowledge, and they're doing that online to help advance their careers in corporate America, to help advance their business prowess, to help them grow as people, as individuals, help heal themselves. So self-education has become the new norm. It's currently a $355 million a day business, and Forbes says by 2025, it's going to be a billion dollar a day business. So fortunately, I'm already in there, and this course is designed to, to help you understand how empowered you are, how much power you have with respect to taxes and your cash flow. Empire Growth Secrets is the course, Taxes and Cash Flow. Now, of course, there's going to be taxes in real estate and other aspects of it, but this one is focusing on the relationship between taxes and your cash flow. Now, what are the objectives of this course? First, declare war on taxes, not the IRS. See, the IRS are our friends. They're like our big brother saying, help me help you. They give us financial incentive to be entrepreneurs, to build and grow successful businesses. And that financial incentive comes in the form of deductions, tax deductions. And those deductions result in more cash flow in our pockets, keeping more of our hard-earned dollars on the job and in business. Next is understanding the language of taxes. What's a, um, an allowance? What's a withholding? What's an exemption? All those things. As you understand that and you become more comfortable with it, you'll see the fear and intimidation residing. Those lies we tell ourselves about it. It's hard. It's too much to understand, too much to comprehend. We dismiss all of those limiting beliefs. Next, talking about that two-headed monster. See, there's a tax, two-tax law system here in America. There's one set of tax laws for the employees, another set of tax laws for the entrepreneurs. You have to master both. We're, we're in one initially as employees. It's imperative that we get into the other one to really advance ourselves in capitalism, so we have to master both. <clears throat> so the course is designed to help do that. Next, correcting tax withholding. Stop overpaying taxes. See, the IRS says 100 million hardworking Americans overpay their taxes every pay period, have too much money withheld from their paychecks for taxes. A third of your income typically goes for taxes. Think about that. You make $15 an hour. $5 of that 15 goes to taxes. You work eight-hour shifts. The first two hours and 45 minutes of that shift, you're working for free because you're working just to pay taxes. So by the time you get to lunch, you only got to pay for 15 minutes. So it's imperative that we get a grasp on making sure we're keeping the right amount of dollars in our paycheck. Next is understanding deductions, whether it's car and truck expenses, cell phone, um, travel, meals, whether it's wages to your children, you know, compensating them for helping you in your business. See, how many of you are online marketers? How many of you have YouTube channels? How many of you on Instagram, you have your children periodically in those uh, medias with you, and you don't pay them? You would expect Nike to pay them, so you should pay them. See, so it's about understanding these deductions that's the gatekeeper of, I say, the 10K. What's 10K? See, most entrepreneurs lose annually three to $10,000 in tax savings because they're not taking advantage of all the financial incentives that the IRS gives us, i.e. deductions. Next, we're going to talk about bulletproof record keeping. See, if you have to sit down with the IRS and they want to do an evaluation, examination of your records, formerly known as an audit, see, even the IRS wants to change that adversarial relationship. So they want to examine an overview of your records. Conversation means nothing. If you documented it, you did it. I did this, I was going to do this, this is what I knew, it means nothing. So documentation trumps conversation. Tax preparation versus tax planning. Tax preparation is an expense. It's what you pay someone to put the numbers in a correct box. Tax planning is accumulating all of these numbers throughout the year so you win during tax season. And we'll dive deep into that. Tax planning is investment. It gives you an ROI. See, when you implore the things, the strategies are taught in this course, it makes you money. It gives you a return on your investment. Last or next, your business entity. Now, there are many reasons to start an LLC, to set up an LLC, and many of them are very specific. A few of those reasons are not to start one, are not because your friend said so, 
or because you saw an ad on Facebook or Instagram or watched a video on YouTube. Those aren't necessarily the reasons to start an LLC. But what I'm going to focus on a little bit tonight or in this course is to talk about what, why you do not need an LLC. And we'll go into that in a few minutes. And then, of course, there are other bonuses. What are some of the other cash flow killers? What are some of the other things that are killing the cash flow we need to build our empires? Inflation is one of those things. Inadequate investing and savings is another one of those things. High debt, too much debt, poor credit scores. All those things affect our cash flow. And so it's very important that we become knowledgeable and functional with that knowledge. Now, who's this course for? The course is for small business owners, those that are self-employed. It's for affiliate marketers, online entrepreneurs, online marketers. Drop shippers, network marketers, influencers, personal trainers, yogis, coaches, all of those folks that are self-employed, independent contractors, small business owners, part-time, full-time, that need to understand how to minimize your tax liability, maximize your cash flow. And then, of course, W-2 employees and anyone else wanting to legally avoid paying unnecessary taxes. Now, what's the relevance of this course? Okay, first. Help 100 million Americans stop overpaying their taxes. Stop working the first two hours and 45 minutes for free. Stop giving up a third of the income, a third of what you make every single hour. You make 15 an hour, giving up the first $5 of it. So we're going to help empower people to stop that, to flip it around. Next, we want to stop millions of entrepreneurs from losing three to $10,000 a year in tax savings after they're already positioned to receive financial favor or incentives from the IRS in the form of deductions. Next, we want to prevent entrepreneurs from being penalized from poor record keeping, having deductions that they qualify for that they took being disallowed because they didn't document them properly or document them at all. Next, failing to properly plan for taxes is absolutely planning to fail. So we want to put a plan in place, help you put a plan in place so you can win. See, it's absolutely necessary to equip the masses with the knowledge and tools in order to better understand the relationship between taxes and cash flow and to improve their tax and cash flow situation. Now, the IRS put out a bulletin. This is very important for where we're going. In 2005, in this bulletin, they talked about some specifics about the tax refund. Big refund, big tax bill. See, many people think, you know, of, of this, the refund is some special ma <coughs> magical money. <laughs> but it's absolutely not. And so in 2005, Iris said, listen, here are some refund facts. First of all, federal tax refunds to individuals total in excess of $215 billion. It's over $270 billion now. More than 101 million taxpayers got refunds, over 80%. Statistics are still the same today. The average refund was $2,126, and now it's over $3,000. So it's gotten worse from that perspective. Now, where does the refund come from? It comes from your wallet or your purse when you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck or make an estimated tax payment. So you tell your employer. Now, when do you tell your employer, since when did you tell your employer how much tax to take out? When you file your new hire paperwork. When you filled out your new hire paperwork, however long ago it was, how many jobs as long ago you've done it, you filled out or completed a Form W-4. Now, this right now the W-4 is a four-page document. This is the first page which comprise of instructions. Page two, now also I want to highlight something on this first page, the purpose of this form. So the IRS says here is the purpose of this form, but unfortunately tens of millions of Americans never read it. Now, sometimes it's not their fault because they don't even get the instructions. But the purpose per the IRS is complete Form W-4, so that your employer can withhold the correct federal income tax from your pay. It also continues by saying you should consider completing a new form each day, each year, excuse me, and when your personal or financial situation changes. What does that mean? Let's say you start out as a teacher, single, no children, and you fill the form out correctly, right? Then you get married. You now have to go back and refill it out because your personal and financial situation just changed. The two of you buy a house. Well, guess what? Your personal and financial situation just changed. You need to complete a new one. And at the same time, two weeks later, you had a baby. Well, guess what? Your personal financial situation just changed. You had another one. 
See, all of those things cause your personal, financial, and situation to change. Therefore, your withholding should change as well. You start a business. Your personal, financial situation just change. Then when you filled out the W-4 is when you told your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck, every single paycheck, for federal taxes. So if you do not know to the letter, letters A through H, or numbers 1 through 10, how you complete the Form W-4, you may quite possibly be one of those 100 million Americans that are overpaying every single paycheck. Now, on the bottom of page 1 is the actual withholdings allowance certificate, and this is where you put your name, social security number, address, filing status, and on line 5, the total number of allowances that you qualify for and that you want to be accounted for. Now, page 2, more instructions, but page 3 is when the worksheets start, which are very, very important. Now, unfortunately, many people, times people fill out uh, the W-4 online, and a lot of times instructions aren't there, or they go to HR and some HRs just give you the certificate and you're supposed to put in what it's supposed to be. They don't understand. They're not doing it intentionally, but they don't understand the value of the instructions, nor do they understand the value of this W-4. See, if we heard our parents talking about the W-4 when we were growing up and how it impacted their pay and how important it was, when we got our first job, whether it's at McDonald's or a movie theater like it was in my case, we would have known exactly how important the W-4 was, and we would have filled it out correctly. So this is the allowance worksheet. So in this course, we walk you through step by step. And then you have some one-on-one -on -one time potential to help you get, to this done, get this done, personalize it to your personal situation. And then also on page three is a second worksheet. It's a deductions, additional income worksheet, that also the IRS additional questions Basically, what else do they need to know to allow you to keep more money in your paycheck or not? So <clears throat> we help you in this course first and make sure that you fill this out correctly, putting more of your cash flow back into your paycheck and into your household, into your budget. Now, some of you are self-employed and are thinking, I don't have a W-2 income. I don't have a W-4. How is this going to help me? Well, first, I want you to think outside of just you. If you have working children, if they didn't learn this from you before and you now are getting aware of this, they still need to know it because the traditional education system didn't teach them. If you have a spouse or significant other that does have W-2 income, they have a W-4, and you want to make sure that their W-4 is filled out properly so they're getting the right amount of pay in their paycheck. So that's the reason why, even if you're self-employed and an entrepreneur, you want to have intimate knowledge about the W-4, working knowledge. But let's give you some value. Now, the LLC, the Limited Liability Company, sounds sexy, sounds exciting, and there are many, many reasons to start one. Some are very specific, though. But one of the reasons to start one is not that your friend said you should. It's not necessarily that you saw a post on Instagram or Facebook or watched a video on YouTube. See, first of all, the LLC is a state-recognized entity. You register with your state to set up the LLC. And many people want to set it up to, one, protect themselves from liability, protect their assets. And when I have conversations with my clients and potential clients, my first question is, what assets do you have? And in that conversation, many times they talk about their home. And I have to explain to them, if you have a mortgage, the bank still owns that. It's not your asset. You can't immediately turn it into cash to pay down a debt. The car that you're paying a note on, the bank still owns that. It's not yours yet. So outside of jewelry and things like that, most don't really have any assets that they're trying to protect. So if it's just for that purpose, you really don't need one. And, you know, there's three type of liability protection that people want to get protected from. It's criminal, contractual, and what we call tort. And I'll talk about that in a second. But let's talk about why you do not need, a few reasons you do not need an LLC. And again, there are many reasons to have one, and some are, most are very specific. So here are a few good reasons why you don't need one. One, it doesn't give you corporate status. See, if you're a single member LLC, you're looked at by the U.S. government, the federal government, as a sole proprietor. No special treatment. As a single member LLC, you cannot pay yourself wages. The same as a sole proprietorship, you cannot pay yourself wages. So if a sole proprietorship can't do it, as a single member LLC, you can't do it. So if you're, set, you're, you're in business for yourself, by yourself, and you want to set up an LLC, it's not giving you any corporate status. 
So that's one reason why you don't need to set up an LLC. Second reason, it doesn't give you 100% protection. See, if you or your business breaks the law and you're an LLC, you're still subject to penalties of the law. You're not protected from that. If you or your business breaks a contract and you don't do what you put down and sign that you would do or your business would do, the other party that may feel hurt or damaged have access to you. You're not shielded from them, so it doesn't provide protection from that. And then the one we're most afraid of is tort. You know that's every day. Someone falls in your property. Someone gets sick off what you fed them. Someone has a breakout from a cosmetic product or hair product that you sold or provided for them. You're not protected from that either. So that's the second reason. It doesn't provide you 100% protection, so you don't need it for that. It doesn't give you any special tax treatment. As a single-member LLC, you are treated the same as a sole proprietor. What a sole proprietor can't do from a tax perspective, you can't do. Sure, if you bring on another person into your LLC, now you're looked at as a partnership, file a 1065, you both get K-1s, now you're looked at as a, a different entity and you're seen as an entity in the eyes of the federal government. But until then, you get no special treatment. So that's the third reason why you don't need an LLC, especially early on. Now, fourth reason, it doesn't give you any fame and fortune. I know it looks good on paper. It absolutely does. And really looks good on paper to those who don't know any better. In other words, you got LLC on your business card. It stands out, looks pretty good. On your letterhead, looks pretty darn good. On the signature block in your email address or on your website, it looks good. But you cannot walk into a dealership because you're an LLC and expect to walk out with a car. It's not just that simple. Or a fleet of vehicles. Doesn't quite work that way. Venture capitalists aren't going to come banging on your door now because you're classified yourself as an LLC. You still need capital. You still need collateral. You still need history. You still need credit. And the idea that you could have bad credit personally and then you serve a business and now people are just going to let you leverage their money, it doesn't quite work that way. So that's the fourth reason. There's no fame and fortune associated with an LLC. And lastly, it costs you more. So you're treated just like a sole proprietor, except you're going to pay a minimum tax or sometimes a state filing tax. In some states, it's as high as $800 annually just for filing, just for having it. That's whether you make a diamond business or not. So here are five good reasons why you may not need an LLC. Now, in the course, we'll dive deeper into what are some of the reasons you would need one and how to set it up and all those things. But for now, that's some value for many of you that Say, I'm self-employed, I don't have a W-2 income, I don't have a W-4, what's in it for me? There's some knowledge that can help you. Let's talk about furthermore what's in this course. What value? What are you going to get? How can it help you? How can it impact your life? First, one of the modules in it, again, we go deep into correcting the taxes holding so you keep more of your hard-earned dollars. That right there is a $9,600 value. Looking at the amount of money on a monthly basis, we typically help people put back into their households the 12 magical tax deductions, the guardians of the 10K. In other words, we're going to show you how to take advantage of these 12 basic deductions. Now, there's hundreds of them, but 12 of them alone will help you save three to $10,000 annually on tax savings. That alone is a $10,000 value. Tax planning, again, we'll talk about tax strategies and tax planning because failing to do so is planning to fail. That alone is another $5,000 value. And then we're talking about bulletproof record keeping. The who, what, when, where, why, and how much. All the things you need to be documenting for the different types of expenses. Your mileage log, what needs to be entailed in that. How much, how many of the miles, what you need to take. All of those things will be discussed and show you how to include a system you can use. That right there is a $2,000 value. And then when we start talking about your business entities, you don't need an LLC, or what entities do you need an LLC, another $1,000 value. The total value of the course itself is over $27,000, but for a one-time investment. Now, why do I say investment? Because investments, you have the expectation of getting a return on that investment. So this will be a one-time investment of $997 when we launch. So we're in beta right now. So the early adapters are going to get some favor. In fact, there are some bonuses that we're providing that are only for the early adapters, only for doing beta. So one of the, one of the bonuses that's going to be present is going to be um, use of a private Facebook group. It's actually called Empire Gross Secrets. And 
You all, you can, you have to be a member of the course. You have to have the course to even be a part of that group. It's a private group. So that's a $997 value in itself. Then we're going to have a Q&A call once a week, especially during beta. That's very important during beta because this is a results-oriented course. I have no intentions of selling a course to someone and it just takes up space on their hard drive. I wanted to have a positive, immediate positive impact on your finances. That alone is a $347 value. Now, I am going to do a three-hour live tax and cash flow boot camp. Now, for those that are in the Miami area, they'll be able to come live. And those that are outside all over the country, you'll be able to watch it live as I do the, the workshop. Valuable information for me putting those hours in that course on. That's a $697 value. And now this is gold right here. This right here is when it becomes very personal and we get the nuts and bolts, something specific just for you. So we carve out about 30 minutes and we do a one-on-one, -on -one, you and I, and we talk about your tax and cash flow strategy, something specific to you, something you can implement right now and have immediate impact on your finances. That's a $177 value for that 30 minutes of my time working just with you one-on-one -on, -one on a call. Now, lifetime access to the courses. See, taxes and tax laws are something that are regularly and routinely updated. Well, this course will be continually updated, and I will add new topics to it, and you will be grandfathered in, and you will never have to pay another dime, and you will receive all these upgrades. That alone is a minimum $997 uh, value, and I'm sure down the road it may be the monthly associated with it, but never for you, ever. Now, again, you see an asterisk, so many of those are going to be for beta only. There are certain things I'm going to add differently for those who do it when we actually launch. Because there are many people who see and don't take advantage of beta, they are not going to have all these same bonuses. I assure you that. Total value of the bonus is a little over $3,200. And again, you see the asterisk, that's for beta only. Now, course value, $27,600. Bonuses, $3,215. So you're talking about a total value over $30,815. $30, now, for beta... $197 investment, one-time investment of $197. That is a steal just from the W-4 alone. If we put $200 back in your paycheck the first month, you already got a positive return on your $197 value. But guess what? For the early adopters, for those who are ready to take action right now, $97. These are for the action takers. $97 for everything. I want you to think about this. Just a 30-minute one-on-one to get specific to your personal financial and tax situation is worth more than that. So it's a steal. So let's go over again quickly. Now, this is how you would access the course. Some of you have seen enough. You're like, how do I get it? Well, you go to www.EmpireGrowthSecretsMVP.com. www.EmpireGrowthSecretsMVP.com. Again, here's what you're going to get in the course. We're going to go deep into Tax withholdings, correct tax withholdings, that's $9,600 value. The 12 magical tax deductions, that's a $10,000 value. Tax planning and tax strategies, that's another $5,000 value. Bulletproof record keeping, documentation, Trump's conversation, another $2,000 value. And then, of course, your business entities, what do you need to, you do not need an LLC. That's another $1,000 value. Again, course value, over $27,600 and a one-time investment during the official launch, a little bit down the road, we're talking $997 value. However, for early adapters, there's some bonuses also to go along with that. Empire Growth Secrets Facebook group, we're going to do coaching in there, $997 value. Our Growth Secrets Q&A call once a week, that's another $347 value. The live boot camp, tax and cash flow boot camp that I'll do, that's another $697 value. The jewel, the diamond, the nugget that I put in there to make it irresistible, a one-on-one 30-minute consultation call to talk specific to your tax and cash flow situation, another $177 value, and then lifetime access to the courses, a $997 value. Again, bonus total value, $3,215. And again, you'll see the things in there for beta only. Many of those will not be available during the launch. So you have to take advantage of it right now. That's why it says for action takers, early adapters. This tool is going to empower you. 
This tool is going to educate you. Again, total course value, total bonus value, a total value of over $30,000. $997 is going to be the offer that people are going to be able to buy it when we do the official launch. But now during beta period, and listen, during beta, you will be implementing the things that are in the course because we'll have our Facebook group. We'll have our calls. You'll have the one-on-one -on -one call. So you'll be implementing the things that are in this course even before the launch. Much of it will be implemented even before the launch. And now that's $199, $197 investment. But again, for the action takers, for the early adopters, right now, you know, there's special groups out there. There's, you know, Marcy Talk Live. There's MLM Gateway. There's some special groups that inspire me to do this. So $97 for the action takers right now until the closeout. See, so it will be closing out here by the end of the week or so. And then that's it. And it'll be closed out and won't be open back up until the launch 30 days or so from now. So you have the ability right now to, one, lock in a one-on-one -on -one call where we can discuss your personal tax and financial situation and help you immediately move the needle. So all you need to do is go to www.EmpireGrowthSecretsMVP.com. www.EmpireGrowthSecretsMVP.com. Thank you so much for taking time uh, to listen. I'm so excited to present this to you. I'm so looking forward to serving you at the highest level to ensure that you get results, immediate results, more cash flow, not theoretical results, more dollars working for you, more dollars in your strategy. That is the whole intent. I do not want you to buy this. If you're one of those individuals that get a course and it just takes some space on your hard drive, such a waste. I want to have immediate impact on people's financial lives and give you everything that I know in my head from my experiences and my background and help empower you and then ultimately you'll be able to help others. So I thank you all again for your time and uh, look forward to seeing you on the other side. Take action today. Take action right now. Take care.